Yo, what is happening everybody and welcome back to some Call of Duty Vanguard. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing all of the maps in Call of Duty Vanguard. So the servers aren't actually up yet, so I'll be going for a private match just to kind of show you guys all of the maps. Um, I'm going to be uploading an absolute ton of Vanguard content. This game is now released in New Zealand, so I'm going to be uploading a ton of stuff with the gunsmith, all of the weapons, the killstreak, zombies, and basically everything that you guys will need to know going into Call of Duty Vanguard. Of course, I'm lucky enough that the game's out in New Zealand, so I will show you guys what's up. So yeah, like I said, subscribe, drop a like, and let's actually hop into it. The first map we're gonna hop into here is Berlin. All right, guys, so we're here in Berlin. As you can see, we've got some sort of a docks area. Um, kind of reminds me of like London docks, actually, from World War II. I'm liking what I see so far. Oh, that's a cool pistol. Um, it kind of looks like a free lane map. Let's actually have a look at the glide bomb. It reminds me a lot of Hotel Royal, actually, if you look at the layout. This definitely reminds me of a Cold World War II map. It seems really fast-paced. It's got good vibes overall. Uh, looks like we've got a little bit of a middle building here, um, which, of course, everybody's going to be camping in. We've got some more of these. We've got some more of these windows that are in Hotel Royal. Overall, pretty good visibility for a night map. This sort of opens up into another lane, which is quite interesting. Okay, we've got like a little down area here. All right, so yeah, I'm actually quite liking the vibes of this map so far. Okay, I suck. Anyway, uh, let's get on to the next one. Guys, in the comments down below from a viewer perspective, let me know what you guys think of these maps. So far, I think this will be a really good map. All right, guys, for map two, we have uh, Bocage, B-O-C-E-G-E. -E. All right, buddy, get off me. Get off me. I'm smoking the opposition here. Um, This looks interesting. So we've got, this is going to be a spawn trap map. Oh my God. Look at these back spawns right here. I reckon if you sit like... I reckon if you sit, like, right here, and just kind of chill by this wall, you're going to have so many people just spawning here and here. This is going to be an interesting map, actually. Oh, okay. Oh, I was getting excited. Well, not, not excited, but I thought you could get up there. Get clapped, kid. All right, so we've got a couple of houses here. Um, oh, mannequins. Oh, oh, no. Yo, wait. I wonder is there an Easter egg? Wait, there actually might be an Easter egg in this map, like Nuketown. If I find an easter egg on this map, I'll upload it. But this is quite interesting. It looks very close quarters, which is nice. Alright, so we're basically at the other side of the map here already. This is like really close quarters. I quite like this, actually. This map is going to be absolutely hectic. I like how Sledgehammer Games have decided to make more smaller maps. Yeah, it's pretty much a tiny map. You can run from one end of the map to the other really, really quickly. Looks like we have this little trench area and like this little underground part. I think you're going to see a lot of people like everybody's going to be running through there. Oh my god. All right. Thank God. Thank goodness you cannot lie on that grass, bro. That's all I'm going to say. Thank goodness you can't lie on that grass. It looks absolutely beautiful, man. I think this is going to be a good map for probably making thumbnails and stuff like that. So I'll be definitely checking out this map a lot. I just realized I probably should show the mini map as well. So here you go. Alrighty guys, and for map number three, we have Castle. For those of you OG players out there, you'll know Castle is uh, a Call of Duty 5 remake. Oh, okay, this looks really interesting. Man, this looks absolutely stunning, honestly. They've definitely cleaned this game up a lot for PlayStation 4. We're just gonna have a run about here, because I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this map already. I know a lot of Call of Duty 5 fans who've wanted this map to come back for absolutely forever. Uh, the, the map is looking gorgeous. I'm not surprised. I, I'm not surprised you guys want to see this map back. It's just beautiful. Oh my god, that melee, bro. Here we are. We're in the tatami room. This is called. Oh, this is beautiful, bro. This is a really nice map. Alright, I've got a little hop up in here. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I didn't play Call of Duty 5 like that, so... I don't really know what the story is. I, I don't know if there's any little spots that you guys want me to check out. I'm sorry for being a bit of a Call of Duty 5 noob, but... I will say this looks beautiful. Alright, yeah, I recognize this area for sure. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know me, I live in Japan, and this actually reminds me of some places I've been to. Absolutely gorgeous, man. Up in the mountains. We've got these sakura trees. It's looking beautiful. Let's call on this glide bomb. Yeah, the glide bomb is easier to call in, by the way, by the looks of things. Anyway, guys, this is Castle. It's looking absolutely sensational. Alrighty guys, so we've got Das House here. 
which is, I believe, the uh, the German training facility. Another close quarters map. I wonder, does this have an Easter egg? I don't. I swear, there's definitely going to be Easter eggs in these maps. Look how close quarters this map is, bro. <laughs> Look how small this map is. Okay, MG42 looking nice. Slide cancelling with a LMG. Love that. Alright, we've got a little bit of door action here. I probably shouldn't have put on bots in hindsight. That's literally it. That's the whole map, bro. This map is going to be the camo map, like 100%. This is like Shipman 2.0. Man, I think people are going to absolutely love this game. Do you know that? I prefer some of the slightly larger maps. This game's got so many close quarter maps that I think people are absolutely going to love it. And uh, yeah, let's call in the glide bomb. Or not. Uh, anyway, yeah, let's keep it moving. Alrighty guys, so we're moving on to decoy here. Uh, let's have a quick look at the, the mini map. Definitely a slightly bigger map than Das House. This is actually really reminiscent of Nuketown. You've got that central area, and then you've got some like houses on either side. Let's have a look at it. This uh, burst weapon seems pretty good now, actually. In the beta, it was pretty trash. Interesting. Okay. Triple kill. Okay. Oh my god, that launcher did not kill those guys. The launcher challenges are not going to be fun. But yeah, I'm getting a similar vibe off these maps. I can kind of see the design philosophy. Man, again, this is another beautiful map. This is a, a training facility. This is the American training facility. I'm pretty sure Das Haus was the uh, the German one. Overall looking pretty cool. I'm assuming this is going to be B domination. Overall, I'm liking the vibes here. And what I do like about these maps is there's some flank routes, even though they're smaller maps. You can, uh, you can still get around the map quite a lot. There's going to be a, a nasty head glitch right here. Even probably right into their spawn. Oh my god. The launchers are just terrible. This launcher, anyway. Anyway, let's call in this glide bomb. Yeah, so that should give you a pretty good idea. Triple kill. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, on to the next one, guys. Alright, guys, so this is Demyansk. Let's have a look at the map. This is, this is definitely a much bigger map than the other ones. So it looks like we have this flank out here. Again, like, we don't have too many long sight lines. That's the main thing, I would say. We've got this big forest out here. Oh my god, we've got all of this out here. Okay. So yeah, we've got this big open area. This is definitely going to be a good sniping area. <laughs> don't you shock on me again. Again, it's still a pretty small map. Like, you can run from one side to the other pretty quickly. Got, got some log cabins. You can bust through here. <laughs> Yo, this guy keeps shotgunning me. Goto? Is this Jujutsu Kaisen or something, dude? We've got a little toilet here. Got some, uh... S oh, that looks like... How many plies is that, bro? Like, seven ply toilet paper, bro? That's some that's some thick toilet paper. I didn't think they had toilet paper like that back in 1944. That's some thick toilet paper. Couple of buildings. I don't see any, like, serious camping spots. And one thing I've noticed about these maps is there aren't too many two-story buildings. I would have to say this is another W. I think I prefer some of the other maps, but uh, this is by no means a bad map. Here's the uh, the overhead view, of course. Boom. Let's keep it moving, folks. Alright, guys, next up is Desert Siege. This is a map a lot of people have been looking forward to, uh, just because of the colours and stuff like that. Like you can see, we've got some blue skies here. This is an interesting map. Let me have a look at the uh, the overhead view. So again, it's like a freelane map. It's probably like a medium-sized map. Alright, let's have a look here. Okay, this is pretty cool. So like, this is at the end of a terrain track, basically. This is pretty interesting. This pistol's really good. Oh my god. Alright, so we've got like a few little campy spots here. Oh, you already know. You already know. Oh, okay. What's all? Okay, I thought, I thought it was a tunnel. It's just um, it's just a cart. Yeah, there we go. We're we're back at the other side again. I'm curious to see if there's any like uh, jump up spots up here. Again, like I'm not seeing any you know two story buildings really. Yeah, there's no two stories. 
Man, the fact that these buildings don't even have upstairs to camp in. These are proper, like, on the ground. This, this is a proper, like, boots on the ground Call of Duty. It's no wonder Modern Warfare fans don't like Vanguard. Anyway, on to the next one. Alright guys, next up we've got Dome, which of course is another uh, World at War remake. Man, my memories of World at War are so kind of scattered. I, I definitely did play it, but I, I didn't play it that much. At the time I was still playing COD 4 quite a lot. I, I do vaguely remember playing this map. Whenever I was younger, we used to go down to this LAN. And uh, we basically played with our friends. We paid like a couple of dollars or a few quid. We were basically able to hop up onto a PC and we could basically set up our own LAN matches. Uh, we played mostly Call of Duty 2 and Call of Duty 4. Um, my friends and stuff weren't like that into... Oh, you can like die in there. My, my, my friends weren't that into Call of Duty 5. Um, I mainly played Call of Duty 5 Zombies, but yeah, here's Dome. It's looking good. The visibility seems uh, better than Call of Duty 5, which is what you would expect, obviously. One thing that I was super worried about with this game was they would put this like sepia tone, you know, like that yellow tone on the World War II games. They have not done that at all. Uh, all of these maps are looking absolutely beautiful so far. This one that Larry in here is about the only difference, so I think it's looking good so far, folks. And uh, let's call him the Glide Bomb. Hello, Alex. Hello. My, my son just came into the room, so, you know, hello. hello. Oh, I missed my- I missed my- my- <laughs> I missed it! It's your fault! Okay, I gotta go take care of him, but let's get on to the next one. <laughs> uh, so next up here we've got Numa Numa, which uh, sounds like a zombies map actually. I'm pretty sure this map is in zombies. Uh, for some reason, I've already recorded this by the way. This is my second time recording this half of the video. I uh, just took my kids to nursery, all that kind of fun stuff. I'm not sure why, but for some reason, my video decided that the audio was going to be uh, out of sync and it was going to be laggy, so there we go. Oh yeah, I, I, I turned the health up so don't just die. But this looks like it's going to be like the uh, the B domination area. Uh, it really reminds me of Bog from Call of Duty 4. We've got this big area in the middle of the map. O overall, a pretty cool vibe. We've got some sort of uh, underground area in here with like mines, I would say. Like, I don't know, it looks like a mine or something. I'm not too sure what it would be. Uh, looks like we've got these explosive barrels too. I've noticed a few of those around the map. Oh, so overall, a pretty cool map. As you guys can see, um, it's, it's just really, really open. We've got this really open part of the map right here. Definitely going to be good for flanking. Um, I can see this being like a spot where you would kind of, you know, you would watch like, let's say the S spawn. You'd come up here, try to sort of uh, attack people on B. There's a lot of visibility on that, on the flag right there. And then of course you've got sort of an area around here where you can maybe hide out a little bit. That guy kind of reminds me of Takio from, uh, from Zombies. We've got this little area right here. Guys, you already know, like, this is going to be a flag right here, probably. And yeah, people are just going to be chilling in this building right here. Uh, good thing is we've got like a nice little flank route around the back. I've checked out all of the maps at this point and I have to say there's probably not even one map that I think looks terrible. One of the maps later on looks not that great, but overall I'm super impressed with all of these. Quad feed? Quad feed? Double feed? Okay, go to get wrecked. And uh, yeah, here's the mini-map. Okay, so this map right here is called Oasis, and as you can see it's another one of those kind of deserty maps. It definitely has some good vibes. I'm sure this is one of the uh, the main spawns. Uh, another free lane map. And another map that's just got really good visibility. Everything's really clean. Um, what I love about this game so far is basically all of the maps have like an outdoorsy type of vibe. There's uh, very few buildings, very few like really built up areas. It kind of feels like it kind of feels like you're out in the world fighting in a battlefield, which is amazing. This is just pretty pretty traditional, really. A very traditional feeling map. We've got some little sort of buildings in the corners and stuff like that. Lots of open areas, lots of access to the spawns. Um, I'm sure this is probably going to be the, the B flag right here. Lots of lo lots of sort of cover in this area. Oh yeah, yeah, this is going to have tons of cover. So if you really did want to play the objective on this map, you do have some sort of uh, decent areas to do so. I turned the health way up, by the way. <laughs> this is what the water looks like on PlayStation 4. I mean, it's, it's not bad, bro. It's not bad for PS4. Overall, the main thing I think they've improved is for sure the performance. The game is performing so much better on PlayStation than it was in the beta. Definitely super impressed with it. I'm noticing, like, this waterline, it's, it's so sharp. 
It's such a sharp waterline. But, you know, I'm not going to complain about that. Or maybe I am. Screw this waterline. This sucks. No, honestly, though, this is a great map. I like it. And yeah, here's the overhead view. This should be uh, a quad kill. Boom. Triple kill. I'll take it. Or right, double kill. I'll take it. Alright, boys. On to the next one. Let's go. Here's the overhead view. Okay, guys. So this map right here is called Sub Pens. Um, as you can see, it's a pen. And it's got subs. It's got submarines. Um, this is actually a campaign mission. I always love when Call of Duty games have a crossover. Where if you play the campaign and play multiplayer, you're like, Oh, I remember this part from the campaign. Or if you're playing campaign, you'll, you'll think, Oh, I wonder if they'll make a multiplayer map out of this. This would be a cool multiplayer map. Uh, just like Burger Town out of Black Ops Cold War, actually. There was a Burger Town mission in that game, and I thought, like, why is that not a map? That would be super cool. Um, but let me see, can I get in here? <laughs> well, that answers that question. <laughs> that answers that question. You can't go in there. There is a part right to Okay, so there's a part right here. There's a lot more elevation in this map than the other ones. I think, I think out of all of the maps so far, this is by far my least favourite map. It, it looks it looks decent, don't get me wrong. Actually, you can jump... It's good that you can jump up here. It looks decent, don't get me wrong. But I think the style of this is not as good as the other ones. Although the gameplay might be good. Like, it, it really just depends how it flows. I feel like this area, I'll be just kind of chilling in this area right here. Yeah, this is definitely a part of the campaign. Overall, it looks quite decent. Again, you know, just like the other maps. On PlayStation 4, it looks pretty good. The visibility is pretty good. I think this map's gonna be a little bit more, a little bit more hide and seek than the other maps, which is not a bad thing, honestly. We've had so many close quarter maps. It will be nice to have a few medium maps in there if you want to get long shots and stuff like that, or you know, if you want to play like a little bit slower. But I can just imagine, dude, sniping on this map is going to be crazy. You know, like the spawn snipes and stuff like that. You're gonna see so many kill feeds on here. And get right up here. Like, you can aim right into their spawn from here. That's kind of crazy. Can I get up here? Okay. Is there a way in that little, um... Okay. Oh, can you... Oh! You know what? The, the more I'm playing this map, the more I'm enjoying it, actually. That looks like a secret area. Is there a way to get up there? This is a cool little flank. I actually really like that. That's cool. I, I think for streaks, like overhead streaks, this is not going to be the map. As you can see, the roof is pretty covered. Bang. Oh, I still got a quad kill though. I'll take it. Uh, let's move on to the final brand new map in Vanguard. And then we're going to check out the beta maps because they've made several improvements to the beta maps as well. Alright guys, last but certainly not least, we've got Tuscan. Uh, which is basically a rooftop map. Um, it's very, very interesting actually. I really like this map quite a lot. It seems to be a more medium-sized map, as you guys seen. Um, it just has really, really good vibes. Like, I love the color scheme on this map. We've got this little ladder right here. Let's climb up, see what's up here. Alright, nice. Yeah, so this is going to be, like, a slightly bigger map. The way these maps are, they've got more close quarters action. Um, so even though this is slightly bigger, like, there's not really a ton of uh, insane sight lines or anything like that. It's still pretty close quarters action. Yeah, we're going to have some sort of a standoff between these two buildings right here. Very, very interesting. Love this map, bro. This this actually might be one of my favourite maps so far. This just gives me such happy vibes. Like, <laughs> look at the spawn area right here. Oh, it's such a nice map. It, is, it really is. I mean, so far, I think all of these maps are better than all of the Black Ops Cold War maps. I can't really think of an original map in Black Ops Cold War that was any good, to be honest with you guys. Like... That was one of the biggest problems with that game. Luckily, we got all of the remasters, which made it playable. But I feel like uh, I feel like some of the maps in this game are more than playable. They're actually very, very fun looking. I, I just hope that the spawning system is good and that the uh, the flow of the game is good. But judging by these maps, it's going to be an incredible year for Call of Duty, folks. We've got a little church in here. Let's get our uh, our asses up here. See what's up. Get some flags. Can I get up on this? Dude, the thing that I just love about these is there's no really ridiculous, stupid spots. Like, everything's so simple. They've just kept it simple. Like, that's all you have to do. Like, these maps, this is all you have to do. Make the maps look good. Make the maps free lanes. Make them beautiful and quite interesting. But just keep the core, like, 
Call of Duty feeling with them and you're, you're vibing. Like, honestly, these maps are fantastic. I'm super happy with them. And like I said, they, um, they fix the beta maps as well, which we're going to check out in a second. Boom. Guys, out of all of the new maps that you guys have seen, let me know what your favourite map is so far. And uh, just to finish out the video, let me show you guys how much they fixed with the beta stuff. Alright, so we're back in Red Star here. This looks actually a lot different. This looks a lot brighter. Okay, it's a lot brighter in here. Holy crap. In the beta, there was this problem right here. Yeah, so they've got rid of the artifacting. That's really good. I'm not sure why it's kind of like rendering like this though. But the visibility is so much- oh my goodness. Oh my, they fixed the map, bro. Holy shit. I'm actually shocked how much they fixed it. That's crazy. Let's have a quick run for Hotel Royal. Yeah, so far it looks about the same. I don't know what it is, but they fixed the graphics in this game. Oh, okay, this looks a little bit brighter, actually. Yeah, this looks brighter. One thing I noticed about this game is it was really, really orange. <laughs> oh, this looks nice. It was really orange in here. Uh, oh my god, it looks a lot nicer, actually. They changed the color scheme in here a little bit. It's not orange. That's good. <laughs> the game's not orange. Uh, it looks about the same. But it, again, it looks a bit cleaner. The maps, uh, it just in general, look a bit cleaner. Um, we had some issues with the sunlight right here. Obviously not an issue anymore. It's like way easier to see things than it was before. As you can see, I don't get any raindrops on my screen anymore. I've got to say well done, Sledgehammer, man. You guys have absolutely killed it with these. This is amazing. This is the one area that I had a problem with. It's still a little bit dark in here, but um, it seems perfectly fine, honestly. This was like the one little kind of dark area that was in this map. Whatever they've done with the textures or whatever, it's just like so much smoother. Yeah, man, big shout out to Sledgehammer. This is a job well done, in my opinion. Anyway, folks, there you have it. These are all of the maps in Call of Duty Vanguard. So far, man, I'm really impressed. Like, over the last couple of Call of Duties, the maps have not been so good, in my opinion. These maps look like really fast-paced, really fun maps. I, I was a big fan of all of the beta maps, but out of all of these new ones, I think Tuscan looks pretty fun, actually. Desert Siege looks decent. I think Decoy is going to be so much fun. Everybody's going to be playing Decoy. Everybody's going to be playing Das House. Castle's coming back from COD 5. Uh, Bookage or Bockage, it's pretty good as well. Berlin seemed like a fun map too. Overall, I'm super excited to play Call of Duty this year. If you guys did enjoy this video, please drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these videos before the game comes out. And of course, I'll be here live streaming on YouTube whenever the game fully does release for everybody. So make sure to tune in, put on post notifications. And if any of you guys want to squad up or anything, uh, be sure to let me know. But that is it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. This has been King Plays. Good luck and peace out.